Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at a game called Into the Flames. This game is currently still in development, but you guys could check it out on Steam. And currently we are playing on a developer build, so it does have a couple of bugs in it that you guys may see um, that are not in the stable version. But right now we're playing multiplayer. I'm playing with the uh, lead developer of the game as well as some of his staff members. So. Uh, hello. What's up? Thank you for having me, Ace. Of course, and thank you for um, making time to show me the build and all of the new features as well. I definitely do appreciate it. So one new thing that uh, you showed me already was that we could now change our uh, uniform. So if you guys look here, we could change our helmet color. We could also change the secondary color, which changes that right there. And I'm just messing around with these just so you guys can see some of the new features. You can change your SCBA color, your gear color as well. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we also have some new uh, fire trucks since the last time we played. So over there you can see the new engine 2. We also have the rescue, uh, the ladder truck, and another engine 2 over here, which is the one I'm going to be driving. So um, yeah, I'm ready to go, and uh, let's get this start. You want to hit the Ford Jimbo Drive for the house fire? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. So we're going to go to our CAD and Ford Jimbo Drive. All right. Okay, so we're going to put our lights on, headlights on. I'm a little bit slower than you. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. Yeah, I've been focusing on a lot of optimization, so the stutter is greatly reduced. Uh huh. So far, yeah. so good. This area I haven't gotten to yet, coming up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yep, there we go. Pretty quick. So I got a house fire, let's put that into the park. Alright, got the supply line down. You got the hydrant, right? I just started to open it. Uh, oh, somebody. I think somebody did it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our gear on. Did the um, second engine. Did they connect to my engine? Yep. Cool. So I got some relay going on. Got the ladder up. Force an entry. I'll head to the roof. There we have water on the fire. short. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> it's always tricky judging it.
Yeah, yeah. This update comes out later this weekend. I'm gonna have like a bunch of bug fixes and new stuff and oh, okay. optimizations. Customization and then the new lighting overhaul with weather and stuff. How are you making out on the roof? I'm almost there. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna back go. out for a bit. Looks like they're throwing a portable up. I see the saw cutting. You guys can see the ventilation cuts we're making up top. We also got portable ladders up to the side. Let's check out the rear here. I see some of the water shooting out the windows from the other team. That's pretty cool. Also, the port fire takes about 45 minutes to an hour to complete because there's so much fire. Which fire? Uh, the port fire. There's a building that catches on fire. Oh, wow. It takes an extremely long time to put out. Yeah, it's running really smooth, though. Yeah, I, uh, I spent so much time, like, that was actually one of my focus. I spent, like, a couple of days, like, non-stop four days to figure out, like, how to get it optimized. And, uh, I finally came across a new plugin that came out, and it, like, completely changed everything. It combines, um, all the materials into one for certain things. Uh-huh. So it uses a lot less RAM. Alright, looks like all visible fire is out. Oops. <laughs> a little traffic jam there. <laughs> oh, the sun's starting to go down too. Alright, so we're gonna put this back for now. Turn off our SCBA. There's a uh, fan, right? Yep, it's on all the trucks now. Oh, it's on all the trucks? Oh, okay. Uh, it's uh, under equipment. From the ladder. Uh, this thing looks heavy. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Alright, so place that what button is to place it again uh, E or just click you gotta click on the yellow spot <laughs> watch it not work still <laughs> I know I did it last time. Yeah, it's funny because I tested this in a private book because they said something about it not working. Oh, I can. Oh, there it is. You just gotta click on it as you're going up with the mouse. Oh, okay. Let me try again. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. I saw that thing come up. Oh, wait, where did it go? <laughs> did it go? Oh, it said the fire reset. Yeah, so I was gonna say. <laughs> it patched yeah. up the doors, the windows, and everything. Okay, so the fire is completely under control. We are out of there. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let me go ahead and. Looks like everything's disconnected. We're good to go. Oh, God. I broke it. Oh, maybe. We actually tank off uh, our gear here. And get back in. Oh, I'm a passenger. So, uh, each truck I have how many people? Like two or four? Uh, five total per truck. Oh, nice. I just accidentally hopped in the passenger seat. 
So another cool thing he's telling me about, we could fast forward by pressing 4, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So if you want to skip to a specific time, just uh, press or hold 4, and I'll speed up the time. But I don't think it's like extremely fast, but it's it's definitely faster than the normal days. Are we heading back to the house or another call? Uh, we can go take another call if you want. Oh, okay. Uh, back to the car. Oh, boy, we got a lot going on. Oh, my truck's driving for a while on the cab. Alright, um, uh, let's do this hazardous barrel leaking. Alright. Alright, so click on it, turn screen. And good to go. Okay, I see it on my mini map now. So when you, whichever way you're looking, you'll see this fire icon that basically shows you which way to go. I can't see where I'm going because all the buttons <laughs> are stuck on my screen. Hold on, let me see if I could speed up the time. Uh, you have to be out of the truck on foot when you do it. Oh, okay. For now, I'm gonna update it. So. Everything. <laughs> Like I said, we're in between updates, so it's like a rough period of time. I hope they brought the rescue truck up here. I saw they left. Oh yeah, we don't even know which car they went to. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, they may be at the house for all we know. <laughs> Alright, so we're here, but uh, I need hazmat suits. Alright, so I guess we'll wait for our hazmat. Let me find out where they are. Alright, my truck. I'm gonna teleport to them. Alright, so this is a hazmat call. You guys are gonna see this like green smoke in the air. Uh, we don't want to enter that without our suits, so we're going to wait for Hazmat to arrive, or Rescue to arrive, so we got um, They're in the woods. <laughs> what what is camping? going on? <laughs> Alright, so... I will go to... back to Station 3. I'll bring a rescue for us. Oh, okay. With the cat, is it possible to assign other people? Oh, sure. uh, just not yet, but um, they're on the responder list. I'm gonna update it so you can see what calls people are on. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Okay, I see two. You guys just pulled it. Is it? Are they in the rescue truck? Yeah. Oh, now they show up. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that was you. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we have rescue on the scene. They're setting up our decontamination tent. I'll try to speed up the time a bit more. Alright, so equipment. Alright, so you got special ops and the kind suit. So how do we handle this type of call now? Um, so in the hazmat suit, you go and find the barrel in the green smoke, and then you take it back to the rescue truck and put it away to secure it. And okay. then you decon yourself at the tent. Alright, so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm also gonna add in um, different hazmat suit colors too to the customization menu. It's crazy. Barrel's in here somewhere. <laughs> I want it to be like nice and thick so it's like a bit of a challenge, you know? So you don't Yeah, just, like... it's, it's not super easy. And it spawns in a couple different spots in this gas each time. Okay, I located it. It's on me. I right. I'll stand still. Oh, okay. found you. So you press E to pick up the barrel, and then you go Oh, out. I could barely see that thing. Okay, yep. So 
So E, get it. And then when you come out of the smoke and you put down the barrel, you'll notice your guy still has like green gas on him, so that's what you have to wash off. Oh, okay. So I secured that uh, truck first? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I see the, the green gas on me. We're contaminated. Make more sense fire deep down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's rinsing off over there. Contaminated, awesome. You want we can take a trip down to the dock for some pallets on fire? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know if you played the previous open world, but I think you did. Like how bad the stutter used to be. Yeah, we played it uh, one time. You just showed me like the uh, jail and we did a house fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It used to be like 20 seconds of stutter and I got it down to like kind of quick pitches now. Yeah. It wasn't even that bad on that build, too. Fire and life, I think. Still the fire tricks going on the <laughs> Wait, is this you in front of me? Uh, oh. rescue truck? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't even know who I'm following. Still can't see. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of money here. Uh, stuck on my screen. It's hilarious. Ooh. Uh, That's a little bit here. Yeah. Once I'm done the optimization and I get all these bugs fixed, I'll be adding like a lot more little details to each area. Bug fixes come first though. Yeah. Oh, deck guns are coming too soon. Those are gonna be useful. Yeah, they'll put out fire extremely quick, but you'll need like a water supply or a relay system set up. Because they're going to drain the tank pretty quick. Do you have any suggestions or feedback you would like to see in the game? Or like... Uh, as far as feedback, I'll just say everything is running really well and as intended, so you guys are doing a great job. Uh, there's flashovers too, but they're kind of subtle. Um, pretty much the rooms go, the smoke turns brown, and you have um, around like, I think I put like 14 seconds to either get water on the fire or get out, 
because it uh, instantly light off the whole room. Oh, wow. Um, and then I also have one more surprise fire mechanic that I'm not announcing yet to have it more stable. Uh, That's going to be pretty cool, too. Um, is there anything you want to see in a firefighting game that you haven't seen yet? Um, I'd have to think about it a little more and play a little bit more, too. How's so the far, he, handle? So far, he has a, a, a lot of key features in it already. Uh, what did you say? How do you like the handling of the trucks now? Oh, that's better. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thanks for playing again. Um, anything else you want to mention before we head up? Uh, just that the new update to be live this weekend with uh, all the stuff seen in the video. Uh, and um, lots more stuff coming to the game soon. Yep. So if you guys like it, definitely check it out. You can find it over on Steam. Again, the name of the game is Into the Flames. And um, I'll link their Discord, their YouTube, and all that good stuff as well. So you guys can stay up to date with all of the new updates and features. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.